Hello, and welcome to the Handy Capable Black Woman Throne Room. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. I am a woman, I am of color, and I am handy capable, but most importantly, I am human. And so are you. <laughs> and today I'm kind of getting back into the topic of identity who you are, but in the thought of mental health versus dating, because whew, it was rough out there. Many, or well, if you're new, hello again, handy capable black woman. I have recently, well, it's been almost, it's been about eight or nine months now that I have retired from dating and especially because with my standards because i have had a terrible dating life absolutely dreadful that i one day november of 2022 i wrote down everything that was like just dreadful about the, my past relationships and like, or the guys who kept telling me they were interested in me, but then it was just blah. And I saw patterns, like some of them, they were trying to like renew themselves out of, out, after getting out of prison or after having a record. And some of them, like they, they had a high school diploma and some started college, dropped out of college, or started a tree training, but said it wasn't for them, or that the teacher was not good enough, or they didn't know what they were doing, and, and or they, oh, they just felt like they were wasting their money, blah, 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 blah. But then when they hear about my education, all of a sudden, I'm stuck up, I'm a snob, I'm going to be too much to deal with, I'm going to be too smart for, like, no good. I'm not going to be willing to do the laundry and cook, and that's what women are supposed to do. And so on and so forth with that one. And then even adopting. It's like, and even like writing adopting in my standards. It's funny how many men, rep like, especially Republican, ignorant, arrogant, bigoted men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the... They're the spiciest when it comes to, and that's not a, and they're spicy in the way where it's no flavor, it's just spice, it's just hot, hot but no good, kind of. And it's like, oh, you just want to adapt so you can get the money because you want to get the check. Um, No, maybe it's because we have so many children out there, even though your party, Republicans say all lives matter, but... You don't care if they're housed, fat, taken care of, if they're not going through depression and their other different mental issues because of the living situation that they're placed in because they, they lived without a mother and a father. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, I get a lot, which don't worry. Yeah, I have a list of over 200 show ideas that I have to do now and that doesn't even include over 80 different dating nightmares examples I have but um like when it comes to my hair it's like the thing is like I keep hearing I've seen a few YouTube videos lately of even African-American women and black men saying if you wear sew ins or wigs and dot 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 you hate yourself. You hate you who you are. You don't like your identity. You don't like who you represent. Um, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's one thing you, yeah, you don't know. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Before I continue, if you need a snack or anything like that, yeah, please go ahead. Grab that, please, please. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm so rude. But yeah, grab a drink, grab a snack, and then come on and let's talk and dish and everything. But um, 
with my hair. And that's the thing, it's like certain parties talk about it's their body, it's their choice, it's their decision, everything like that, when it involves certain things. But I feel like, okay, if we're going to just say this is our body, then let this be our body. If it's not our body, then, okay, that land of the free, yeah, we need to take that out and liberty, yeah, we need to, yeah, there's some new words we need to replace, like land of the controlled and hypocrisy, because right now, land of the hypocrisy and contradiction and stuff. But anyway, um, I love my hair. It took some time for me to love my hair because I was surrounded by a lot of ignorant women or women who were trained to only think that one type of thing was the beautiful way, even if that's not the way we were born. So, and a lot of women who, when they saw my hair, they would tell me, no man will ever want you. And even while dating, men would tell me, like, because when I did have my natural hair out, oh, girl, dang, uh-uh, this hair's too much work. Oh, you think I want a baby that hair looks like this? Oh, no, mm -mm, you're going to have to do something with this. And then I worked as a promotional model in a lot in some of the contracts. European hair only. So if an African American woman went to the job with her afro, she could be turned away, sent home, not, no pay, nothing. And if this is a like a second, third warning, that company may not hire her back again. So, yeah, I went through years of buying, like, and that's one reason it's like I started finding out the fun in wigs. I think it's fun because to me, I can change it up each day with different outfits and I'm not ruining my hair texture. I get to, te I get to just keep my hair as natural and beautiful as it was made. And if I want to have curls with green streaks one day, brown hair, red, dark red or something like that, and then or it goes straight, one, like I can just change it up. And then I can change it up in the middle of a day if I want to. It's like it's my prerogative. It's my choice. It's my body. And I remember, yeah, I was going through some of the, because I'm going to be doing an episode soon about why I will not date a Republican man or an orange guy supporter. And I have I have some screenshots that show enough proof. And I, that would be like, I would have part seven, eight, nine, and 10, but I'll try to at least put at least, I'll, I'll spread them out. I'll do one now and maybe every three or four months I'll post more. Um, but yeah, you guys have already seen some of them from my last episode about when Nikki Haley had the nerve to say uh, America has never been a racist country. Yeah. Um, and some of her followers, some of the Republican men, they agree. Yeah, that's why I will never date them. I will never date them. And especially the history. They they should have failed history. I don't know how they finished high school, but they should have never fit. They should have never finished because they, they, they would have failed. They would have failed my history class because the things that they were coming out of their mouths, like they, they know kind of parts of the history, but they don't know the other half or they only know bits, little like really small bits and pieces that the Republican Party will just enforce in their brains, but not tell them the full picture, which is one reason why they don't want to teach African-American history now especially because some of the kid students, some of the next generation are waking up and realizing, oh, yeah, this was a racist country. Oh, there were these, there were some really like big scumbags around this, night. yeah. So, but yeah, so I'll be working on that too. But with my identity, with my standards and everything, it's like, I will not date, like, why would I date somebody? Why would I, because I date to marry. I am not going, especially, and another, oh, 
I don't know if you guys even know, some of the Republicans are trying to take away default divorce. And only that only allows you to have a whose fault is it type of divorce. Because some of the Republicans are saying that women are filing for divorce for no reason. They're leaving the house for no reason. So this is a way to keep us stuck especially if we're in a bad situation i don't know what kind of proof i don't know what kind of like so see when it comes to my body when it comes to my life when it comes to my choice like they're trying to take a lot of choices away some people are not like and don't worry i'm gonna be doing it yeah that's one of the episodes on my list but mm, yeah be yeah and so when it comes to marriage that's a big deal politics is a big deal and especially some like uh, i know there's this okay i'm not gonna say her name because how she not with my time but one person that she goes around on youtube and different social medias talking about how women should lose the right to vote and it should just be up to the husbands and men. And it's like, so you're risking our right to be able to have either birth control and having the right to, um, like, especially if we have a miscarriage or if our body is in dire need and emergency and things. I don't know. It's just that it's disheartening and sickening all at the same time but hmm. so when it comes to identity and dating i'm hearing so much from like politically the other side and part of me is just like okay so if i didn't put like republican orange guy loving like in my standards in my dating profile that meant every single guy that writes me i'm gonna have to ask that question and oh i've got a quick story or okay dang it okay this is probably gonna be a two-parter or three-parter from now because okay story time i think i might have mentioned this in the podcast but this episode isn't going on the podcast um, or my regular podcast, because I have YouTube podcasts, and then I have other. But right after, or a couple months after, I broke up with Mr. No Heart, who I was in a seven-year relationship with. I was on the dating apps and kind of horrified seeing how dreadful and awful dating has been, um, were the options, and... It's like I matched this with this one guy and everything. And like my first question right out the gate is, okay, did you did you ever vote for the orange guy? Because I'm like, I don't have time to, for, to waste or anything like that. And he's like, what? What do you mean? And this, this happens a lot too. Um, and it's kind of funny because some men are like, what? Why are you being political? Why are you bringing up politics? Politics don't, shouldn't matter. It's like, you should get to know me first. And it's like, if you like me, then maybe I can tell you. Okay, why am I going to waste my time? I am not going to marry a Republican. So why would I waste my time when I can get that answer right now? And so, yeah, there's some guys who, oh, no, just get to know me. Go out there. Um, well, this this one guy, which I started the story off. Oh, it's like, honey, no, but you're so beautiful. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm such a great guy. Let, let me take you out. It's like, and he mentioned like the one of the most beautiful like restaurants in the local area, whatever. And oh, it's like, probably was just like, okay, like, no, like, okay, like, what are you doing? What do you like? I, it's like, I would like to go out and eat new foods and dishes and things like that. But when I go on a date, 
I'd rather be more impressed with the man than what's on my plate because I have run into that a lot where it wasn't the guy that impressed me. It was the location and the food and the ambiance. Now, it's like, I would be good. Like if a guy took me to Burger King, got me a Whopper with cheese with a like orange Fanta or something like that. Oh, I'm good. I'm sweet. Like, okay, like, like we're good. But, or, um, oh, Chipotle too. I was like, I would, yeah, it's like Chipotle. That'd be another good spot. But, cause yeah, I mean, because the food will be good, but then I can focus more on the guy and I can make sure he is a good match for me and I am a good match for him. Because, yeah, it's like, I'm not selfish. I'm not going to just say he has to fit me. I have to fit for him, too. So, and especially if it's like, I want to get married one day. And I want to at least kind of know, kind of make sure that we're not going to get divorced. And, oh, uh, I know my pastor and bishop are against it, but I'm getting a prenup. So, yes, I'm getting a prenup. I've worked really hard, like, because, and... He, especially if he has his own business, I'm hoping I can find someone who is is as bullheaded and, like, stubborn and goal-oriented as me. Oh, as, like, I know, like, the bullheadedness. Oh, my gosh. See, but that'll have spicy, spunky arguments and fights. But then, at the same time, that can end up really good at night. <laughs> oh, anyway. But, um... Yeah, so when it comes to, oh, well, to finish it off, and I'll do an extended version because, yeah, the conversations he tried to have, it was just like, okay, I get it. You, you have an eggplant. Okay, I get it. It's around, it's between eight and nine. And like, okay, mm -hmm, okay, yeah, that's nice. Good for you. But I want to know how many brain cells you have. Can we do that? Can we play that game first? Oh, but I remember he said that I'm not going to tell you who I voted for. I'm not going to tell you which political party I'm in until after our third date. And after I know that, that you've had one of the most passionate, loving kisses from me. And then I'll tell you. And then after that, you'll never want to leave me. Um... Well, actually, yeah, if you if you agree with the loss of Roe versus Wade, yeah, I'm going to want to leave you. If um, you think, yeah, slavery happened all around the world, so who cares? Well, now it's called cattle slavery was the only type in America. And, and yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. It's just men are funny. Women might be funny, too. But remember, I don't I'm I date men with eggplants. So, yeah. So yeah, that that's that's the boat I'm rocking. It's like don't get me wrong, there's some like I've mentioned it before, there's some beautiful women out there. But um yeah, I need an eggplant in my life. But at the same time, retirement and actually, yeah, because with my dating identity and with my own identity, after I broke up with my seven seven year ex. It was liberating and it felt amazing. Like I actually, like I got excited and I started crying tears of happiness because I didn't have to tolerate, especially his youngest daughter anymore. Oh yeah, Trent. Mm, yeah, yeah, Trent. Mm, yeah, mm. she was a uh, she was a nightmare. And yeah, I, I still haven't said that story either. I will. I will, but I know that when it comes to dating, you have to know yourself, and especially after I, well, during our relationship, I started learning more about myself, and I started, started noting, like, every time he was using me, every time he was taking advantage of what I had to offer, because I'm a very giving person, very giving. And even his mother, which I, I actually I could put the screenshot here, but I'm going to tell the whole story about her. Because this is the same mom who said the only reason I 
got into college was because I'm black, but then I had to remind her that like all of her white children, yeah, they had issues with the college, you know. So, but yeah, I have a screenshot of when I was breaking up with him. It was great. It was cool because, and it was proof because I know I'm a wonderful woman. I know I'm a good woman. And like almost, oh my gosh. And I'm going to see if I can collect all of the text messages from men who like after they broke up with me, either a month, six months, a year, five, 10 years later, they write me and telling me, I thought you were the one. You're amazing. You're, I, I still haven't met a woman like you. And I regret, it's like, I thought you having goals was a threat to my manhood. I thought you were just going to try to show me out. But now I'm finding out now that I have goals, how you would, you would have been the type of woman that would have been like, okay, let's go to the library. Let's look this up or let's um, try look up some people online and let's like look this up and look that up and let's see if we can upgrade this. Let's see how we can make this different. And then I'm like, I was like, duh, exactly. And he was like, yeah, and I was like, cause there was one specific one. And I just remember kind of just smiling at the fact where I'm like, well, at least you learned your lesson. And he was like, oh, so you're not gonna give me another chance? No, darling, you had your opportunity. You had your chance. Now you need to find a woman that is like me so good luck good luck so so i don't but anyways i will have a part two but oh and i never went out with that one guy i blocked him i think that night yeah i blocked him that night so but um i know i need to add that episode to my list of episodes of men who refuse to tell me which political party they are a part of because or some of them say that I have to sleep with them first or I have to go to dinner with them first or I have to do something with them first in order to find out so and but yeah they actually think that or, or they tell me oh well I'm this many inches are you still gonna pass me yeah yeah I am actually yeah yeah so but <laughs> thank you for listening to the handy capable black woman throne room i am a woman i am of color and i am handy capable but most importantly i am human stick to your wishes your guns your standards know who you are know your identity and pursue what you want to pursue if you're pursuing and going after a promotion, keep going for that. If you're going after like either having kids naturally or adopting or anything like that, do it. It's like, but first have a plan for that because, you know, especially finances and everything like that. But if you're planning for a trip, I mean, oh, actually, um, I found out about a site that is like, I'm a nerd. So one of my nerd episodes, once I get that going again, it's called Smarty Pig or Pigs. I'll have it for that. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to do that episode really soon. I need to get back to the handy, capable black nerd. But you guys have a great day. Bye.